It's a very sad thing to know that a disruption in the world was also a disruption in my personal life uh, in a way that I would never have imagined or understood if I hadn't later studied the Holocaust and all that that had done. My mother was very much affected by the Holocaust. My father too, but quieter. He didn't express it. Since my mother was always producing poems, she could express it in her usual stream that emerged out of her. It was always flowing, always flowing. The um, When I was three years old, well, maybe I was four, because it was 1941 when she heard that her parents were shot. I must have come back from nursery school. Maybe I was four. I came home, maybe it was from nursery school, and my brother, who was 13 years older than I, was home. And my mother was on her bed with a cold schmata on her head. And I said to my brother, what's the matter with Ma? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that's what I would say. <laughs> or, you know, or I'd be looking. I mean, I did a lot of looking in that house without talking. I was a quiet, I had to be quiet mostly because that's the way it was. Anyway, the, um, and I think my brother told me, Hitler shot Baba and Zayda. I don't know exactly how he said it, but I know he must have used the word Hitler because that was, I was terrified. I thought Hitler was coming to our house next. I truly believed he was coming. If he got my bubbin Zeta over there, he's coming here and we'll be next. And I, and so my mother was lying in this bed and she wouldn't come out. And I asked my brother again, well, I guess he explained that my mother was very upset because this is what happened to Bubba Zeta. But also my uncles and aunts. There were lots of kids in that household. My mother used to sing a lot at home. She used to hum melodies. She stopped singing. And she would cry a lot. My mama. And then I came into the story. Mama la. I had to comfort my mother. I wanted comforting, but I had to comfort my mother. That was tough, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I remember I used to sit on the floor. I even feel it. It's funny how memory doesn't escape you when it's traumatic. I sat on the floor with bare legs, almost keeping guard at her door and her she was lying there, and I'd watch her for hours because was she going to go away too kind of thing? When you're four, you have all kinds of imaginative thoughts. And my mother was very attached to me. She, was, she really loved being a mother. <laughs> but especially when you're really little did she love. It's harder when they're older, you know. But she, she was a very... Um, enveloping mother and and all of a sudden I was Mamela. I had, wasn't that before. I was Chavala before. Why am I Mamela? I mean that's where the thread picks up where I walk beside her for many years reacting to this mother and understanding from this mother what pain is true pain, probably why the rest of my life I became a caregiver, foundations to help people become more productive in their lives, not wasted. I mean, how could you not after this impact of this kind of experience? 